trying to slim the list down to one racing game we'd like to see come back is very very hard i'm heading back though to a trilogy on the playstation 2 where it started from it was an action adventure game it was incredible it was one of my personal all-time favorites it was the jack and daxter franchise that trilogy that lasted a whole three games also saw a spin-off in 2005 of jack x combat racing that was an absolute blast to be racing as all your favorite characters in the jack's world for me that's definitely one on my list it's top tier will we ever see it come back will we ever see jack and daxter come back not under naughty dog i'm sure they uh, have now moved on from to uncharted to the last of us to who knows what's next the multiplayer i guess would be at this point which hopefully will be good i don't think it will uh, disappoint whatsoever but that's where i'm at jacks x combat racing please bring it back or at least give it to somebody Racing games were a huge part of my childhood, and unfortunately, many of those titles are no more. And if I had to just pick one of them to be brought back to life, it would have to be Mario Kart Double Dash from the GameCube times. Yes, this racing game has probably got to be my favorite racing game of all time. I 100% completed it with my brother cooperatively because with this game, you could actually play co-op on one cart. The mechanics in this were fantastic. I mean, you had the driver, and then you had your mate in the back who was throwing shells or bananas and dodging left and right. It was such a fantastic formula that we haven't seen in years, or really in any racing game that I can think of off the top of my head. And to be fair, I mean, Mario Kart 8, we've seen this game sold twice in the last decade, it feels like. So we're well, well overdue, I think, for a new Mario Kart game and a Double Dash 2. My top racing games from the PlayStation 1 back to 1996, this game was called Two Extreme. This was a downhill racer that actually pitted you and computers or you and your friends against each other and you were actually going to either be on rollerblades, bikes, snowboards or skateboards and you're going to be going through courses and passing through gates and you have the ability to knock down other racers and you have 12 different courses to go through. There was a tournament set up, there was split screen for two player. They just kind of had it all when it came to an alternative racing game that wasn't just cars and, and I, they did a good job. It was one of those first PlayStation racing games that when I first jumped in I just had a blast. It was so much much fun and then if you could jump in and play split screen with a friend it was even harder to see the screen at the time I mean the graphics were good for a PlayStation 1 but I mean if we look at them now they're not nearly as good as they were but this game was so much fun I'd love to see them bring it back in an arcade style because we have Riders Republic out now it would be kind of cool to see in their game in that style of genre back in and have more of an arcadey feel to it I mean too extreme was just too much fun I've been playing games a long time, and through the years I've gone through many different favorite racers, you could say. There's a few that deserve honorable mention, and some that just won't come back. The ones that stand out to me has got to be Diddy Kong Racing. With new kart racers entering the mix and Mario needing competition, I think it's a good time for Diddy Kong Racing to make a comeback. but. I think that's a little far-fetched. Another one that I believe definitely deserves a sequel would be the F-Zero franchise. They haven't released an F-Zero game since 2004. The last main console release was in 2003, 
and we're coming up on 20 years since that was released. Shigeru Miyamoto was asked about whether there would be a new developed one coming anytime in the future, and he says, well, something was special about that release at the time. And because they don't want to innovate on it, they don't have new technology to make a new game, he says, just go back and play the first one. Go back and play GX. But that's not good enough for me and Miyamoto. I want a brand new one on the Switch. That's a great machine you've got there. The Blue Falcon is the fastest machine on the circuit. 